traffic. To chance of no more traffic, New York City Council Member Andy King joined by Speak Up for a Better Bronx and other leaders gathered in front of 1825 Gun Hill Road, a vacant city-owned lot leased by the MTA that was slated to become the third mall within blocks of each other. Bay Plaza Mall in Co-op City is the borough's largest, with this one directly across the street. However, grid properties were unable to build the support needed to move forward. Our community said, while we want new development, while we want job growth, while we want economic opportunities, we want to make sure that we build something here that is right from our neighborhood. The Bronx has the highest asthma rate in the entire United States. Sir. We don't want another retail entity that will bring more traffic in our neighborhoods. The city's Economic Development Corporation pulled back its application, and now a year later, as the city looks to reopen the process again, the community is saying they want more engagement and have a proposal in mind. Councilmember King shared a few he received already. A Department of Education school, senior housing, yes. an executive office space. We need housing. We need community centers for our youth. We just want the city to be mindful and to hear us. Retail manager for Export at Bay Plaza Mall, Jose Jimenez, says instead of saturating the area with malls, he has some ideas for the space. Recreation, uh, education, library, sport places for basketball, for baseball, something that helps the community to stay out of the street, especially the young generation that is coming up. And middle school student Julian Caldwell here with his mother Celeste Reynolds represents that younger generation. What do you want to see here personally? What do you want to see? A community center with things for the seniors, a track, and other fun activities. This summer Caldwell is on his way to compete nationally in Iowa with about 40 members of the Velocity Track Club New York based in the Bronx. President and head coach Winston Dinkins would agree with placing a track here adding that an indoor 200 meter and outdoor 400 meter as part of a larger sports complex would be a great idea for the borough. If you go to Manhattan they have the army the New Balance Army you go to the Brooklyn, they got the YMC Army right next to Park Slope. With the proposal to build a mall now off the table, the community is looking forward to working with a new developer that is open to hearing their ideas when it comes to the future of their neighborhood. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.